That's the cat door. I put her down for a nap a little bit ago. I got my little monitor right here. God knows how long I'll have to film this video. So, which is why I'm on my little vlog camera in my living room kitchen, slash kitchen, whatever. Uh, I've got my laptop in front of me. We're gonna go over what was in my hospital bag that I actually used. And it was, and I never called it a hospital bag because my plan was not to give birth in a hospital. I do have a birth plan video, which I'll link you to right in the de description box below, the D-Box, as I like to call it these days. And um, I will also link you to my birth story, Harla's birth story. If you haven't watched that, um, I'll catch you up to speed. I basically, um, was planning on giving birth at a birth center and then that didn't go the way I expected it to and did not give birth at a hospital or I gave birth at a hospital instead of a birth center. So I'll link that for you too if you want to watch that. But um, I basically look the way I look right now. I don't know why these lash extensions have like hung on for dear life, but they have and this side's like, fuck it, I give up, chuck in the fuck it bucket. So I don't know what's going on, but I literally, like this is my life right now. I'm going on day three of being a solo mom. My husband is a firefighter paramedic and I pretty much uh, single mom it a lot of the week. So I couldn't be bothered to put any makeup on and it's honestly that I couldn't not be bothered. It's that I don't have time. <laughs> so until I get a handle on this whole mom thing, makeup ain't happening, okay? So, you know, the most important thing right here is that I have a frosty bev to get me through this video. And damn it, I deserve it, okay? Let's get into this. So I'm gonna watch my what's in my hospital bag video with you guys and let's go through what I actually used because I tell you, I watched every single video on YouTube when it came to packing that bag, I wanted to be prepared and as comfortable as I could possibly be for one of the most uncomfortable events in my entire life. And if you're pregnant right now watching this, then that's probably exactly what you're doing because in other people's videos make you think of things that you maybe wouldn't have. And so they can be very useful, except for if you're planning to go on an international trip and you watch every single video out there about what to pack for a newborn, newborn on a plane and every video leaves a bunch of stuff out. Anyways, we're going to Germany on Tuesday and like I swear, like I've watched every video about what to pack and I need to make one because I'm not finding like anything good out there. Anyways, I digress. So let's go ahead and see what I packed in my hospital bag versus what I actually used. First thing is my camera. So the camera that I'm filming on right now is my vlog camera. It's always linked in the very bottom of every single YouTube video I ever make, um, as well as my big camera, my lighting, etc. So if you ever wanna see that, it's there. But I used this camera, which is how I filmed a lot of the footage in the hotel, hotel room, hospital room. And then um, I also did bring my Polaroid. I didn't use that a single time. My idea was to take a cute little picture of us in the hospital room or the birth center after the baby was born and take like a family photo or a photo of her because I love like Polaroids, who doesn't, right? It's trendy as hell. Everyone loves Polaroids. And so I brought the camera, I didn't end up using it at all and it sucks because it wasted a lot of space in my bag. Let's see, next we have the my tripod, which is actually the exact tripod that my camera's on right now. I swear <laughs> that was like the, one of the best purchases. Um, I did end up using the tripod a ton, so that was a good thing to bring. And even if you don't do YouTube, I think that filming stuff is like a great idea. Store it on a big hard drive, um, you can like upload some of the videos to a private Instagram for your child when they're older and you and your husband or partner or whoever can like upload pictures throughout the day, throughout the week, whatever. And um, eventually your child can look back on it and it's almost like a little video slash photo diary. Um, the small tabletop one I used as well because I think Nick actually put that up behind me when I was giving birth and so it ended up being super, super useful. The extension cord, um, did I use that? I think that we did use the extension cord, but I really wasn't on my phone that much, so I think Nick used it, but I will say that that is, I would pack that again, even if I didn't use it the first time, because you never know like what kind of room you're gonna be in, and there's nothing worse than having to like plug your phone in or iPad or whatever laptop um, that you want to sit with in your hospital bed or birthing bed, whatever you want to call it. And then having like the cord be this long and having it like be plugged into the wall down way over there. So 
I would definitely bring an extension cord. Um, extra phone cords or phone charging cords, definitely use the absolute shit out of those. Pack one for yourself, pack one for your partner, um, and just don't leave it in the room when you guys leave, okay? Just don't leave it, because like that's like I feel like I leave cords everywhere. So make sure you maybe take your list out before you guys leave the hospital or the birth center and make sure you have everything you came with. iPad, laptop. Um, so I didn't use either of these, but I did anticipate um, a less painful labor. And if you didn't follow that whole story, I was in labor for a total of about six or seven days and then about four days after my water broke. And I was pretty much in excruciating pain. And the last thing I wanted was a computer or an iPad. However, if you get to the hospital, you get your epidural and you're not exhausted like I was, you could probably sit on your laptop and watch movies and stuff. That's kind of how I thought it was gonna be, but it was nothing like that. But I would still bring these two things again because I think that they would could come in handy. Bring a mini sombrero. This one you can't miss out on, okay? And I did actually use this. We took a really um, unattractive photo of our newborn in this little tiny sombrero, and she's got a big dome. Um, but we did use the sombrero. Snacks. So we brought a lot of snacks that we had to throw away, unfortunately, because we didn't have a refrigerator in the room but I did bring a lot of protein bars and we did actually end up eating all of those. So I did pre-cook meals and I had them in the freezer, but obviously since I went to the hospital instead of the birth center, I ended up not eating these until I got back. So they, were, they just stayed in the freezer here and ended up being like awesome because we definitely needed things to eat when we came back from the hospital. You're pretty much like overwhelmed when you get back from the hospital with a new baby and it was really nice to have those. I didn't bring any, I didn't have any of those things packed because I was dead set on giving birth at the birth center and I really wish I had had those things packed because I felt so gross and dirty after being at the hospital for even two days and um, I just really did want to wash my face and brush my teeth and I didn't have like any of those things. So I wish that I had had those. Something that I'm gonna be bringing is an eye mask. This is literally the best eye mask I've ever used in my entire life. I did not use an eye mask. I feel like I was just on really high alert the whole time that I was there. And looking back, I should have used it, but I didn't actually end up using that, but I should have because it was just so like bright in there and people coming in all the time. Like I totally should have used it, but I just, I just couldn't be bothered even earplugs as well, or um, these guys. I bought these on Amazon. Ear, um, I did not use earbuds or headphones at all, so just once again, another thing I did not end up using. Bring a speaker. Maybe you would like to share your tunes with um, your partner or just listen to it a little louder so you can still connect with them. Maybe you haven't gone into like super deep labor or like the transitional period where you're still able to like have conversations and stuff. A speaker, so I totally used my speaker. That was actually awesome because when I was giving birth, I had my labor playlist going and it was great. Um, my daughter was born to Pantera and the rest is history. A couple other things to help transport you to another dimension of peace and tranquility, whatever that looks like for you. Um, I'm bringing a, an oil diffuser and oils and diffusers. So I did not um, use my diffuser, but I did use my oils on um, my skin and I'm super glad I brought those. And I did um, spray my bed down a little bit and I asked um, everyone that was working at the time if they were, I asked actually the charge nurse, I was like, can you please let me know if anyone is allergic to these and obviously I will not use them, um, but I am healing and in a lot of pain and this room is one of the most unrelaxing places I've ever been and I would really love to use my oils in order to relax. So luckily um, no one was allergic and I was able to use them. More ambiance stuff. I'm going to be bringing these twist flame LED tea lights. 
I am going to probably like put these all over the room like it's some like romantic proposal. <laughs> um, I really like lights. So this is one thing I'm bringing and then I'm bringing these. These are my little battery operated tea lights. I did not use these at all. Um, I had, I literally could have cared less about anything when I got to the hospital. I was in so much pain. I was literally also to the point where I was like, if they suggest a C-section right now, I am not even gonna fight it. Like get this baby out of me. So I like needless to say, did not even try and set up a nice ambiance for the hotel. hotel. Why do I keep calling it a hotel? I wish it was like a hotel. I did not like use these in the hospital room at all. I also didn't use any of the twinkly lights or anything. I just, yeah, I was, I couldn't have been bothered um, at all to like try to make the room more like relaxing and pretty. Like I was just in too much pain. <laughs> Speaking of pooping, I will be bringing diapers. I'm gonna be bringing two different sizes. This is a newborn size. I did use the diapers that I brought. Um, I also did use the ones that the hospital had as well. And um, I think, I don't know if we even use the newborn size, but I think we started with a one because she was so large. Now something for me, I'm gonna be bringing my three-in-one postpartum recovery belt. This has like three different ones. Postpartum belt. So this one that I showed on camera is not the one I ended up using longer term and I'm still using, but I also didn't need to bring it to the hospital with me. Again, I couldn't have been bothered to like put that on at the hospital. I was just so busy trying to like relax, recover and like sort things out with breastfeeding and like dealing with a new baby and like taking care of Nick and making sure he was comfortable that like I literally could have cared less about a postpartum belt. Like I probably should have put it on, but I just had so many other different things to worry about that I didn't care about this, like in the least. The birth center gave me a list of things to bring and they said to bring a receiving blanket. So I just grabbed this little guy that is super cute. It's got little llamas on it and it's already been in our house. It's got our microbes all over it. I've washed it here. So I'm gonna be bringing this and this is ready to- A receiving blanket. Um, I did I did use like almost all the blankets that I brought and I actually wish I had brought more blankets and a couple burp rags. So I, I did actually use these. Another thing I'm gonna bring is this guy. I shared this recently on a video. This is basically if the baby is just like sitting on the bed next to me or swaddled and I can put her in here and just lay her down knowing that she's super comfy and cozy. I really am still looking for an adult size. We didn't really use this a ton, but we did use it when we were like laying her on the hospital bed just to relax for a second or changing her because there was still like, I don't know why they didn't clean the sheets like as much as they should have, but there was like some blood on the sheets here and there. And so I just wanted to keep her off of all that. So we did use this and I just love how like comfy it is. And I still use the absolute shit out of this. Like I'll put this like, I'll open it up and like put it over like some of her swings and stuff. So this one I, I definitely used um, in the hospital. It was great. Adult diapers. So I didn't use these at all because the hospital had everything I needed. So baby and I will both be in diapers. Styling. But had I given birth at the birth center, I definitely would have needed all this because they didn't have any of it, which is crazy to me because I paid $6,500 to not have pads and stuff given to me. Very odd, but yes, um, uh, had these, didn't use them. The birth center said that they prepare a, a peri bottle for me with witch hazel and a bunch of good stuff in it, so I may not. Peri bottle, I did use this. I also had the hospital's version of this and it doesn't have the little piece that goes up like that. It's almost like a ketchup bottle, like a little ketchup squirter bottle. So this was actually way easier to use and I feel like I was able to like aim it exactly where I needed it. So this I used, I would recommend um, bringing witch hazel with you and putting it in there and just spraying everything. It feels so good and it's such a good way to like clean yourself down there too without having to use wipes or tissue. This next item I have been told over and over and over again, it is a must have and it's, you could make these yourself. Um, it is basically a perennial cooling pad liner, really great for hemorrhoids I heard. 
It's got um, witch hazel in it. So if you want, you can even just take regular pads and put witch hazel in it and kind of make those your own and then put them in. The These wipes, I didn't use at all. Um, I pretty much didn't use any wipes um, down there at all. I did use like the little witch hazel cotton pad things that the hospital provided, but these, <coughs> excuse me, I did not use at all. Couple other things for me. Stool softener, I definitely used this and it didn't do shit for me. <laughs> no pun intended. So yeah, I, uh, yeah, this pink stork one, I don't know if it's the brand that didn't work for me. I'm not sure. I even came home and like tried every tea that I had. I took magnesium, nothing worked. And if you were watching my Instagram stories, or watching like the community tab on YouTube here, like, you know, like how just traumatizing that was for me actually like two weeks after even. This is a um, heating or cooling pad. Heat and cool pack. I did not use this at all. I was planning on using this during my labor, um, but I ended up just getting right to the hospital and sleeping um, as soon as I got an epidural. So I, yeah, I didn't even have a chance to use this. Another thing for yourself that you might want to bring is a little bag with hair accessories. Did not use these one little bit. I did not give a shit what my hair looked like. Um, I think I had like, like a hair tie in my hair and I, it was literally in my hair and not touched for like two or three days. So yeah, didn't use hair accessories at all. I feel like had I had like a little bit less of a traumatizing like birth experience, I probably would have used that. Maybe if I had gotten my epidural like a little earlier, I don't know, but like I just could give two shits what my hair looked like by the time I got to the hospital. This is another thing for me. I got this on Amazon. This is a little, this dress ended up being the only thing that I brought to the hospital and it was kind of a bummer because like I, I said before, I was planning on giving birth at the birth center. So I had this one dress and I wore it to the hospital and it's all that I had. So I wish that I had packed actually like an extra like set of clothing because I felt so nasty by the time I left the hospital. I hadn't showered, I hadn't washed my face, I hadn't brushed my hair, I hadn't hardly brushed my teeth. I don't even, like I don't think I even brushed my teeth. And all I had was this one dress that I had been in for days. And so it kind of ended up um, sucking in that respect. So I wish I had packed an extra one, but um, everything was just so last minute. Like up until about 36 hours, I thought I was giving birth at the birth center because I did not get all of the information that I needed. And if you watch my birth story, you'll know what I'm talking about, but yeah, should have brought more than just the dress, but I did use the dress I actually strolled into. And by stroll, I mean, clutching the walls, uh, walked in there like I was a zombie into the hospital, but yeah, I wore this dress for that. I purchased these guys and I actually have these in a few different colors. They are just little, I have it in white, black, gray, and this nude. I did use the bralettes that I brought, uh, super important, but I pretty much feel like my tits were out the entire time anyway. So like my intention with this bralette was to labor in it. And um, yeah, I pretty much went from coming to the hospital, getting an epidural, falling asleep, and then being woken up bright and early in the morning and like having her an hour later. So again, there was really no time for any of this blankets and stuff. So I'm bringing two different swaddles. I've already washed these as well. So my doula has just taught me how to swaddle a baby. So I think I'm good to go. Probably not. I probably need to practice a little bit. Swaddle options. Um, I did use all of these blankets. One thing that I wish that I would have brought is an actual swaddle, like with the Velcro or the zipper or whatever. Um, I don't think I brought any of those to the hospital and I really wish that I would have, but our hospital room was also like 80 degrees in there. Like the AC situation was like broken. So we ended up just using the blankets, but I don't think I even brought the zip up ones anyway, but I definitely would have like now, Looking back, I wish I would have brought them for options. Last but not least, going home clothes. Okay, so this was hard for me to decide because A, I haven't really been shopping much. All of the clothes for Harlow, I don't think that we put any of these on her. I think that she was pretty much just in like a diaper the entire time. Um, I didn't know how big she was gonna be, so I bought, brought some different options, but we didn't, use any of these. I don't think she was just literally like in a diaper the entire time. 
I think I might have put her actually in some of the, like the long ones, like the gowns, like the mermaid gowns that you tie at the bottom. I think she did actually wear one of those. So that's about it. Um, basically, I didn't use almost anything in my hospital bag and I did comment on the things that I wish I would have brought. So hopefully that will be useful for you guys. But yeah, I like, I swear I like overpacked by like so much. I just didn't anticipate late, like excruciating labor going on for so long. And if I had known that, like it's, it's hilarious to me that I even thought maybe I was gonna wear makeup. Like I laugh at that now because no way in hell. Like I did not give a flying fuck what my hair or makeup looked like. Like, yeah, it would have been cool to like have it on, but like, did I care about doing it? to look cute or whatever, or feel good. No, the only thing that made me feel good was that epidural. So yeah, I couldn't have been bothered um, to mess with my appearance or make it look better at all. There's a gnat flying in my face. Um, just like right now. So cheers. <laughs>